Hello and welcome to a special episode of Tabletop Bellhop Live. Uh, today I am doing an unboxing of a quiver. That way, over there, one of these. Uh, a quiver uh, by Quiver Time. Uh, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Uh, normally, I am here answering your game and game night questions, uh, striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Uh, usually, I'm putting my years of game playing, event organizing, and game night hosting to use for you. But that's our regular show, which we record every Wednesday night at 9.30 Eastern, right here on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash tabletop bellhop. That is our podcast, our live show where I host Sean, who's in the chat right now as Dark Health LX, and I talk about um, improving your game nights. We answer your questions. But that's not what I'm doing here today. Today I am here to open a box, a box that's currently down on the floor that was sent to me from the people at Quiver Time. Um, as you can see, if you're watching the live stream, we've got some pretty graphics. See, I keep pointing the wrong way because I'm either on the other side. Over here, um, got a video from their website and everything else so this is something they asked me to review when they asked me to review it i said you know i'll do that but what i would like to do is send one out to someone watching like you or listening at home so this is step one to that tonight i'm going to open the box and then sometime probably this weekend i'm going to do a full review on the blog so the blog can be found at tabletopbellhop.com uh you'll head over there you'll click on reviews you will see a full review of a quiver um, and at the bottom of that will be some form of contrast entry uh, when it goes live I'll probably run it for about 30 days I'm not positive exactly when that'll be last time we launched on Wednesday we may do the same thing so the big thing we're here for today though is to open the box so let's move on to the actual unboxing so here is the box I got from Amazon nice big shiny box they paid the ship at prime thanks quiver time we're going to open this up and see what we got. I have to assume that it's much smaller than this box. As you can tell, this is completely unopened. I have not looked at this ahead of time. The only thing I did was black out my address. So you guys can't send me uh, anything. Oh, hey, yeah, no peanuts. We got lots of plastic baggies. Toss those away. And in the bottom, we have a quiver. Ooh, quiver. Oh, that is significantly more solid than I expected. I was expecting something a little more flimsy than this, which is impressive. So it came in a giant Ziploc bag. Um, not sure if this is the new usual shipping method or if they normally come in a box or anything. It looks like this is it. It's got a barcode on it. Uh, we got to watch out. Suffocation warning. Don't put this head on your pet or your kids. I'm assuming it wouldn't fit over my head. So, we will move on, get this out of here. Oh, I dig that. So, one of the nice touches is like when you buy some new tech, there's a piece of uh, protective film over the, the Quiver logo. Nice way to protect it. So, let's take that off, show off the shiny for those of you watching. Shiny Quiver. There's a piece of foam at the end here. It is, again, to protect metal bits. Nice. So that's a nice touch. Something to keep the vi the um, zippers nice. And this piece has a little piece of blue through it. Again, I think that's packing. So a way to hang your quiver. Attach it. And I don't know if you can see these zippers, but those are really nice with the logo on it. Let's hope my camera is adjusting so you can see that there. Very impressive. The first thing I'm impressed by is just the the feel of this like I'm squeezing it pretty good here and it's not moving the lid has um, feels like real leather around the outside so you can feel it around the zipper but this is solid there's no way this is bending like I could probably try pretty hard and do it but not under any regular use are you going to bend this in any way so let us see what is inside I see Sadzar is in the chat, and one more games, and Tech2674, thank you for joining us for this unboxing. Shadzar, you should have been on the live show last night. We did announce we were doing this. 
So there you go, opening it up. You guys are going to get to see it before I do, because I can't see inside there. It looks like there's a bunch of stuff. i got to turn it around, because I can't see that. All right, what do we got? Ooh, all kinds of little pockets. So there is a strap, because, well, it's a quiver, right? So you can strap it on your back. So you got a little tab at the bottom, tab at the top. Again, nice and metal. No plastic here. Uh, real leather, I'm guessing. Feels like real leather. Um, so we have a strap. I don't see why I wouldn't strap it. So we are undoing the strap. There we have strap. Obviously strap goes on each end of these. I don't honestly think I'm going to strap it across my back or anything right now. This is nice. Sorry, I got to show this off too. Look at the size of this clip. Like that is a nice clip. That is not a cheap plastic clip. The more I see here, the more impressed I am. This is a quality product so far. And I can't do this one-handed. There we go. See, now we have a quiver we could strap on our backs. You know, pulling cards out like this, though, it's just not going to work. All right, so getting back to the inside. So there's a mesh pocket at the top. In there, we have a thank you for your purchase three-year warranty. Warranty is always a good thing. Three-year warranty, register within seven days after receiving your Quiver card case. So I'm going to have to go register this. Then I have Happy Quiver Time. Little Ziploc bag. So it says a little Happy Quiver Time. It says Quiver on the other side. Opens kind of neat up at the top. Thank you for purchasing our product. The Quiver card case comes with one shoulder strap, found it, one wrist strap, haven't seen it yet, five Velcro dividers, four plastic separators, two corner pads, 100 Quivers, Quiver seeds as a bonus. Uh, there's a bunch more here, but uh, visit their website. You can win a gift card on Amazon when you register. That's always cool. With every Quiver case order, they do donate $1 to provide board and card games for orphan children. More details on their website, and that's at quivertime.com. Uh, reviews on Amazon are highly appreciated. I may do that after I'm done, but first we're gonna put a review on tabletopbellhop.com. So there's also a card here. It says your feedback is our highest reward with a bunch of links. This is nice, like putting all your social right on a card here. Thank you for your purchase. If you're happy, go here. If you're not, contact here. I also dig that. I hate places that are like, we assume you liked our product, so go here to talk good about it. They give you a way to talk bad about it. So that was up here in the top. We got more stuff in here. So this is the wrist strap, which I, of course, could attach here and just carry it on your wrist, I guess. That doesn't seem like the most comfortable way to carry something, but sure. Uh, we have card sleeves. 50 Quiver branded card sleeves. It looks like the sleeves are just blank on the inside. I'm not going to bother opening that up now. Everyone knows card sleeves are card sleeves. My guess, based on how they feel, they don't feel like penny sleeves. Anyone who plays card games knows what that means. Uh, then we have some rather thick, wow, really thick dividers. i got to put this down somewhere so we can take a look at that. So these are dividers and like, here, can you hear that? Like these are thick dividers. This is not what I was expecting when it said it was going to come with plastic dividers. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed. Like, it's a divider, but they're nice, thick-cut plastic with the Quiver logo. Now, what I don't see is any good way to label these. So, I don't know if you'd have to use, like, a um, machine prints out, what do you call those things, that puts words on strips of tape. Yeah, these are nice. So we got four of those. So I guess they expect me to put four decks, four games, four something. Label maker. Thank you, tech. I could not think of the word label maker. So these actually have little spiky bits on them too, which I'm assuming is to kind of hold them in place. They're kind of pokey. The black ones are pokey. All right, anyway. So the other thing that's supposed to be a feature. Oh, sorry, I hit the bell. You can see these dividers. They come out, so you can move these wherever you want. Very nice. Very Actually, those are nice and thick, too. Like I, Again, I could bend this, but it would take a bit of effort. It's not going to get bent just on its own through normal use. So there we have it. That is everything that came in my quiver. I got to say, uh, it's pretty nice. It's Again, 
can probably hear that. It's nice and solid. Uh, you got one, two, three, four, five dividers in here. Then the additional plastic dividers. Um, 100 sleeves. So, next step, right? What am I going to put in there? I figure it wouldn't be a good video. So, if you've seen the unboxing now, if you want to go, feel free to go or stick around. Because what I'm going to do is put some cards in here and see how well they fit. Unfortunately, I can't do that that well on video here. So, we'll see what I can do. So, what I have here is Star Realms. This is three sets of the original Star Realms game as well as the... Um, Gambits, the Gambit expansions. That's when I stopped playing Star Realms. I do have a couple loose cards on top. These are promos I'm supposed to mix in. But my cards are sleeved. So I have Star Realms branded sleeves on here. So we're going to see how well it fits sleeves. So the problem I had is I bought this box that supposedly holds your Hulk Star Realms collection, right? You can check it out here. Well, look how I had to put the cards in there to get them all fit. You can tell I kind of had to shove them in the tops. So this is one of the things I wanted the quiver for, right? Because... Though the fact this has really pretty graphics on it, it was not a good case for this game. So let's see what we can do to get Star Realms into a quiver here. Without dropping cards all over my floor. I You could put dice in there, but I would worry they would um, damage the cards underneath. There's not... There's a very... I don't know, what's that, like maybe a centimeter gap there, unless you have centimeter long dice. Oh, plus, I just see now, the cards actually stick out the top. So no, I would think you would only want flat things up here. Maybe rule books, something like that now. Um, you would not want to uh, put dice up there, you're going to damage the tops of your cards. Alright, that is here. Let's grab some more Star Realms cards not spill them all over the floor so at this point i've got the starter decks the starter what do you call them the explorer ships it's been a long time since i played star realms explorer ships so those can all be separated uh this does fit sleeved cards perfectly so that was a concern sleeve cards not a problem uh seems like adjusting the velcro things on the fly is not the easiest you want to do it before you put cards in not after it's good to know let's grab some more cards We'll take this divider out, because we don't need that. Oh, I just realized I'm off the video. My bad. Let's get back so you guys can see what I'm doing. All I'm doing right now is putting in Star Realms cards. So, yeah, that is three sets of Star Realms cards. Then these should be, yeah, the, star, the decks, the player decks. So, I need to move this. We'll put that down here. Then we'll put in the player decks. I'm still amazed I haven't dropped the card yet. So then we have the player decks. Then I got the bonus stuff, the gambits and all that. So we're going to toss all this in. Then I've got the scoring cards, fortune cards. So now what I have left, my promo cards, uh, we'll put this insert back in and divide that up. So what I have left are the instructions for Star Realms. So I am thinking to put this up in here. So just tossing that up in the top. That's not going to be a problem up there. Uh, that is it. Star Realms box empty. Star Realms box that doesn't quite work. Gone. And Star Realms in a quiver. All fits good. Sleeved cards fits great. I do have some dividers in there that stick up a bit. No problem. Fits perfect. So, I got lots of room left. So, now what? Huh. Well, I did a re-review of Agricola. You can check it over on the blog or our last podcast episode. We talked about it. And we talked about the cards in Agricola. And I mentioned, I think it was during the after show, that I couldn't fit the cards in the box. So, I had to throw them in this. So, this is a garbage crap little uh, cardboard box. Let's throw these in there, too. So, these are unsleeved cards. I'm assuming they'll fit. I don't see why unsleeved cards or sleeved cards would fit and unsleeved cards wouldn't. So there we go. Agricola cards also in the quiver. Now I didn't use them, but I could have used these nice hard plastic things to divide up the sections. I don't see a reason to do that really. But I'm going to toss them in here just so I don't lose them. 
Okay, so this, I think, is worth noting. All right, let's hold this up so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put one of these dividers just in the middle, randomly, of the Star Realms cards. So you go, divider going in. It almost vanishes. So slight heads up there. It's there. I can see it. But if there was a label on that, there is no way I'm reading it. So there's a slight disadvantage, but you will note the sleeved cards stick out way higher than the non-sleeved cards. Sleeved, not sleeved. So if I do the same thing over here on the non-sleeved cards, without damaging any cards because I put them in pretty tight, I have a feeling this is going to stick up nice. So we're going to toss that one in. Yeah, see that? Works great. So dividers, not perfect for sleeve cards. Like, they work. You can see it there. You can see the red sticking out. Even from the side, you can kind of see the red. Non-sleeve cards, dividers work great. I could use a label maker, put a label across there. It would probably look fantastic. So I got some room left. Let's see. What else can we do here? How about start player? You can probably see why I'm thinking start player is a good one to put in there. Look at the condition of this box. Look how beat up start player is. I love Star Player. It's my most played game. It is a game you play when you don't know who should start. So it's the game you play before the game. So Star Player is just mainly a deck of cards. So let's toss Star Player in here. And we'll throw one of these plastic dividers. Divide that up because it's unpunched so it'll fit nice. So Star Player has even smaller cards. You can see it there. They almost vanish. The black piece sticks out great. We're good. Now, the one thing Shadzar asked about was dice. So what I was thinking, because I wasn't sure if there was going to be a pocket, is what I would do in this case is I would leave a space at the end, right here. Because Start Player comes with the very cool Start Player meeple. And I need somewhere to put that meeple or else Start Player can't be played. So I am going to toss this meeple in the end. So now I have a place for my meeple. But first, I've still got room. So I think... I am going to grab another interesting game by Bezier, like Star Player, called Tiebreaker. This is the game you play when you have to break a tie at the end of the game and there are no rules at the in the actual game you're playing for tiebreakers. Or it has a really silly rule, like plant a tree, wait 10 years and see whose tree grew the highest. Yes, that is an actual game rule. So we're going to throw this one in here. This time I need to move a Velcro divider. We'll toss this tiebreaker in. We will toss a Velcro divider. And now I have a little bit more space than I need, but not much for the meeple, for start player, and the tiebreaker meeple. And there we have it. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is a problem. Remember I pointed out that one of the plastic things had spiky bits on it? What's up with that? Is that cut wrong? Because that is not fitting in the case well. So check this out. I'll take it out. See, this has spiky bits on the top and bottom, which I thought was there to hold these in place, but none of the other ones seem to have that. So I'm not sure what's up with that. That's one I'm going to contact Quiver Time and ask, because all of these are rounded on the corners. This one's spiky. Now... Of all the things to find wrong, that's not a big problem. I really don't have much of an issue with that. We put this black one in instead. We don't use this black one for now. I wait to hear an answer on why I have the deadly plastic insert instead of the normal insert. So there you have it. So in here, we have Star Realms three sets with um, the Gambits and the... Um, I always forget the name of them. One of the other, the Gambit expansion, the various things for Gambit expansions. We have that going all the way to here. Then I have all of my Agricola cards, which are for various sets, like the Gamer deck, the different decks for Agricola. I should correct that. Then I have Start Player. Then I have the um, Tiebreaker. So really, I've got the cards for four games in here, though I'm kind of cheating with Tiebreaker and the other one. But I would say you can get three to four games in here easy. I haven't done it yet, but I could easily put the rules for all of these on the top because they're all small, right? So here's Tiebreaker. 
What I was going to try to fit in here too is red seven, which I've got in front of me. If I didn't put the meeple in, I could have done that. So overall, I'm pretty happy. Like it looks nice. I'm a little confused by this piece with the spiky bits. Other than the spiky bits, now we're going to do this up, and then we're going to do this. Now, I'm not going to try to beat this thing up too much, but let's take a look at how the cards look now. Something just fell off. What was that? Oh, instructions. So, ah, one of the sets of instructions obviously came loose from that top pocket. So up here. You know, to be honest, that's not surprising. This isn't zippered in any way. So know that if you put something up here, it may not stay up there. As for the cards... Oh, they're a little shifted. You can see they're kind of sticking up, especially on this side, but I don't see any damage. I don't see anything bent. Uh, I see one little Agricola card sticking up here, but it looks pretty good. Plus, I don't think anyone's going to really do that to your quiver. So I do see a comment that they prefer to have the games in the original box, that this just doesn't look great. Well, the thing is, look at my box for start player. Like, look at that. Sorry, I hit the bell. Like, that's just falling apart. Plus, the Star Realms box is a Magic the Gathering box that's a standard size. This is three sets of Star Realm boxes. I would have to keep those. The Gambits didn't even come with a box. They come in card sleeves only, and you get them at cons. So there's nowhere to put that. And then the other one is, these were my cards for Agricola because I bought expansion packs, and they don't fit in the original box. So, no, I don't plan on, like, Red 7, okay, it's in a fairly nice box. But again, in this, I could fit Red 7 and Quests of Valeria and Villages of Valeria all in here at once. Maybe it doesn't look as good, but for games that don't have boxes, I think this is cooler. So overall, that's the Quiver from Quiver Time. Except for one really odd divider with spiky bits at the top and bottom, I have no complaints. I am impressed. I admit Shadzar's right. I would have liked to have been able to fit dice or something in the top, not just instructions. I wish it was just a little deeper to fit something because a lot of card games have bits. Even Magic the Gathering, people use counters now, right? Or they have their spin down die. So yes, I can leave the gap at the end, but it would have been nice to be just a tiny bit taller. But then I bet you all the people who just want to put card games in here are going to be upset. They'll be like, why is it taller? Why does it have this extra space? Now my cards can bounce around. So I get it. It's a compromise, right? So you do have the straps. I didn't attach the wrist strap, but there is a wrist strap. Um, went through everything it comes with. So yeah, that's it. Here it is. The quiver for quiver time. I'm going to do up a full review, which is basically just going to reiterate what I just said. Um, there might be something else I try to do with it. I'll probably bring it to the game store. Um, as for weight, this isn't light at this point. But the case itself isn't really that heavy. Some of the wooden box inserts I have from Broken Token are heavier than this is. So this really isn't bad. So that is pretty much it for the quiver. Thank you for joining me. I am going to ring the bell and call an end to the show. But for those of you in the chat room, feel free to hang out for a bit. And I'll be able to answer your questions because I couldn't really type back. And I'm reading them, but I talking at the same time, so I might have missed something. So feel free to stay around. That's what we like to call our penthouse suite after the show chat. So we will do that.